Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. <laughs> Alexios! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send Metiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodotos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. Spartans outside the walls, people crammed inside. I don't envy you. Even so, there isn't another city I'd rather live in. I can't say I know how that feels. When you find your place, you'll know it. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. I'll help you however I can during your travels. <laughs> Dionysus, there you are. Everyone else here is boring. Let's play a singing game. You like to sing? You like to sing. What did you have in mind? One of us will sing, then the other, and then back again. We'll take turns making verses, and whoever makes the best is the winner. 
Let's do this. I want to play too, but who should start? Every PD should start. It was his idea. Fine, fine, but let's do a good one. A battle song? Is there any other kind? At the flick of a limb comes a spacious whim, and Pericles' walls aim to contain us all within. The Spartan hordes outside eat your cattle and children alive. They dance at your walls. They don't rain, but they squall. Pericles guarantees death for us all. Oh, so bring your merchants and bring their butlers. If they be sons, they bring their fathers. This is war, war, war. Bring your murderers to the crimson quiver. Bring the helots if they be spillers. It is war, war, war. Collect your weak and collect your sinners. Line them up at the Farling's dinner. This is war, war, war. If they want blood, then blood you'll give them. Or stab their guts and let them spill it. This is war, war, war. The stupid sweepers, the genius teachers, all just meats and juice and liver. So grab your spears and grab your daggers. Plunge them deep in. Heroes, they'll make us. This is war, war, war. This is war, war, war. War, war, war. War, war, war. Enough, enough. You, you're a great singer. The best. <laughs> you should act in my plays. Here, take this to remember the occasion. This party has turned out much better than I ever could have expected. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! <laughs> <laughs>